Hi, my name's Grant from Civil Survey Solutions. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a coordinate transformation using the Map 3D tools within Civil 3D. So first off I'm going to open the drawing so that we can just have a look at the original drawing coordinates and how they are set up in the existing drawing. So just by hovering somewhere you can see at the bottom left hand corner we've got a coordinate system of 174,000 and about 9 million. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to transform these coordinates, which are latitude longitude coordinates, into another coordinate system. So to do that you must make sure that the drawing that you are going to bring in is closed, which is this drawing here, uh, because it has a drawing lock on it, okay, if it's open. So what I'll do first is I'm going to create a new drawing. Now this drawing I've created, it is using my template, so you can use your own drawing template as a startup. And we're going to go to, and I already am in it, the planning and analysis tool space in Civil 3D. So if you're on the Civil 3D workspace up here, go to the pull down menu and change it to the planning and analysis tool space. Okay, first off what we're going to do with this drawing is we're going to set the coordinate system for this particular drawing. So we go to the Map Setup tab and we click on the Assign button for Assigned Coordinate Systems. Now you've got a filter options through here. If you know what you're looking for you can actually type it in here. So if I typed in Java it'll narrow it down to various coordinate systems or I can go through the filter system and say well I'm not quite sure what it's called but I'll know it when I rec when I see it and I'll say okay for Indonesia we'll say and we can scroll down until we find whichever one it is so either way of doing it's fine so I'm just going to type in Java and I want the Java east of 114 degrees coordinate system so all I do after I've highlighted it is click the Assign button and we've now assigned our coordinate system. Now if you haven't got your map tools uh, open, uh, you can open it using the command uh, map w tools, so, uh, sorry map w space, map w space and turn it on via the command line. Okay, now in here we want to go to the Map Explorer tab. Okay, so it might start up on the Display Manager tab, but let's go to the Map Explorer tab. And first off, we're going to attach our drawing. So we click on, right click on Drawing and select Attach. Then we go and we find our file. Now, when you first open this up, you will find that you only have the C drive available. Okay, I've added in a couple more drives, but you've only got the C drive initially available. To add in more drives you click on the Create Edit Aliases button so if I click on that and I know I've got a drive called H or you can use the Browse button. So if I go to the Browse button and you see your pull down menu here that shows all your different drives so you can select a drive from there. So if I was to say select Drive H and go OK and you give it an alias H and click on add and so it'll be added into the list. So now it's added into the pull down list. Okay so I'm going to go and find my drawing which I know is on the D drive and it is under this folder here and here's my drawing here. So I click on the add. Once I've clicked on add click on OK and you'll see that the drawing has attached itself into our current drawing. Now what we want to do is we want to set a query. We want to query something out of this particular drawing. And you can add multiple drawings if you like. So right click on the current query and select define. Now we want to select every single object in this drawing that's attached to this current drawing. So we need to select the location. Now that we just accept all because we want everything. We don't just want a circle or a fence or a polyline or a window. We want to select the whole of the drawing for our information. Okay, and so we've selected our location. All we have to do now is select the query mode. Well, our query mode is draw. 
so we want to draw the items in this particular drawing and we execute the query and so what it's done is it's read everything and if you have a look down in the bottom left hand corner at the coordinates you'll see that they're now at 2500 so they're in a local coordinate system which in this case is from the island of Java in Indonesia alright once you've done that just click on save and save your drawing so I'll just save it as drawing 7 and it's saying the association will not be retained once the drawing file is closed so we'll close the drawing and you'll see what's happened so what we're going to do is we're going to save the set and I'm just going to close everything down I'm going to go back to the Civil 3D workspace and oh, a few graphics slowdowns there we go and so if I close this drawing now and yes I'll save the changes again and it's saying do you want to save the queried objects as well yes I do so it's going off and it saved everything so now if we come back into that drawing so I'll just go to drawing 7 you can see that the objects are still there and the coordinate system is correct as well so th this is how you assign of or change coordinate systems and it doesn't have to be between lat longs and it doesn't have to be in Indonesia it can be anywhere in the world you've got a list in the map tools uh, of all the different coordinate systems around the world